Right guys, so we're going to be looking at the cockroach today. Now, you may have seen uh, Fitz being linked and like as lols throughout the game about these GM ships. These are the game manager ships. You will not be able to get this on Tranquility or on the test server. These are specifically a de game developer ship used for various different things like tournaments and stuff like that. That's why I've got one because I'm do uh, doing a tournament. But this little ship, the cockroach. So, as you can see there, the description is that there. It, it is an odd looking little thing. It's pretty much a cockroach, as you can imagine. So these little things are, as you can imagine, absolutely insane. Like, they are absolutely insane. So, first of all, they've got this, uh, like a gold colored, which looks pretty cool. I I'm not quite sure what that means. What that ECAID? I don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, if someone knows, let me know. But also, first of all, you see, uh, we'll go over this. Got some. So you got eight turrets or eight launchers. It doesn't get any form of um doesn't get any turret bonuses. So it's but that's not what it's meant for. It's uh it is a developer ship and yeah. It, so I've got it fitted with a couple bits and bobs for pure speed. But look at that power grid and uh, CPU. It's insane. And you need Polaris for, uh, 5 to fly it. So let's bring up the fitting and we'll have a quick look at this. So this I fitted this out for pure speed. And there is a faster ship in the game, which will, again will be coming in another video. And So first thing, as you can see, is it's got a lot of slots. So we have the maximum amount of slots you are you can get on a ship um you are not getting jammed out with that holy god good god uh offense as i said there's not really much you can put on it you can't fit any uh like there are some fits where people have put old doomsdays up there that doesn't happen because see what set filter for slot so yeah you cannot put any form of super weapon on on these which so when those when you do see those ones, um, you can't get any of those on any super weapons whatsoever on this thing. So, so those fits that you've seen with all doomsday, all racial doomsdays, they're just a bit of fun, really. And you, it is limited to just your standard sub capital weapons. So yeah, but you can put battleship guns and whatnot on it, which would look pretty funky. Um, let's see if we could just put some battleship. Oh, can we get these on? Nope. So we're gonna put some we're gonna put some heavy uh, polarized metal <laughs> that gets rid of good god that's so it goes down to so that looks like the only way this thing is going to be destructible is if you have polarized guns on it which is pretty pretty handy and to know so com flag again you're gonna get 710 dps. Uh, the models of the weapons will not show on there because they'll probably be bigger than the ship itself. Uh, but you can get those on there. And yeah, polarized guns. Uh, we have uh, 7.3 million EHP with zero resist. But again, if you take all of them off, he says. You take all them off, it then goes up to 7.3 billion hit points because it has a hundred percent resist so this thing is not meant to die i don't think you i'm not sure if you can even lock it or not i don't think you can i don't think you can actually lock these or is that the polaris frigates i can't remember but these have got a hundred percent resist so any damage will not even register on it and you can put biters in which is pretty interesting so if we go to fighter bay it does have uh, 125,000 uh, cubic meters uh, fighter bay, but it also has a, another frigate escape bay, a fuel bay, ore hold, gas hold, mineral hold, salvage hold, ship hold, small ship hold, medium ship hold. <laughs> so it goes on. It's got it's got pretty much everything. But again, being a developer ship, you can imagine it will have absolutely everything. And the modules you can fit on there. You, again, you can always fit your bits and bobs on there i mean not that you would need to because you you well you're not going to have one of these on tranquility anyway and you're not going to need any form of tank because you can't take damage anyway but i've just wanted to do this because it is a cool looking ship i like the little logo on there and um, with a battleship uh officer battleship michael warp drive overheated 
it will do 55,191 meters a second. That's without implants. And I haven't tested it with implants. I'll probably have a look at doing that, actually. But basically, um, with, with that, you can make this a lot faster. Uh, not that you'd really need to, but I'll undock in Jeter and I'll show you what it looks like when you're, uh, at, when you're hurtling around at 55,000 meters a second. At... I don't know why Steam opened then. So here we are. There's a Sleipner on there. That's one of the guys just chilling out over there. So we're going to set off over towards that moon, col uh, the, the colony on there. I'm going to overheat. I don't know. We need to do that. Look at this thing go already. Look at it go. <laughs> that's not even, a, that's 34,000 meters a second. And now we are approaching 50. We're going to be approaching 55,191 meters a second. Let's get, we are getting, I mean, we are approaching that moon pretty fast. That's pretty cool. But this is uh, an awesome, uh, awesome, awesome little ship. And um, obviously it is a dev ship, and so you won't get access to it. But it's got 20 AU a second warp speed and a 0 0.07 warp speed. Uh, a line time, sorry. And yeah. So instantly warps back there. That's pretty damn awesome. So I'd, I thought I'd make a, a little short video on this because you, I haven't seen a single video on the cockroach um, in in Eve uh, because they're a dev ship and no one can get them. So I thought I'd do a little uh, little spotlight just to show off something that's a, it's a cool little ship. It's a nice little dev ship. And yeah, it's got all sorts of na uh, offensive capabilities like fighters and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, it can't fit any capital mods or anything like that, but it is an amazing little dev ship and I kind of I kind of like the design even though it's a cockroach and some people may find it horrendously creepy. I think it is a cool little design and it's good to see that they made themselves um, a nice little ship. I mean the Polaris frigate is another one which I don't have access to uh, but that is a cool little ship. Now we are going to be looking at an even faster ship uh, in the next video so stay tuned for that one guys but i hope you've enjoyed this little spotlight on the cockroach and it's a very uh it's a mysterious ship to most people but yeah thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one take it easy